What's up? This is Tobin from Papa Roach. And I'm Jerry from Papa Roach, and this is PickCam.tv. Hi, I'm Alona from PitCam, sitting here with Jerry and Tobin from Papa Roach. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm, I'm great. Are you asking me how <laughs> are you I'm the doing? New interviewer? I'm, I'm feeling pretty <laughs> fabulous right now, i got to tell you. Well, are you guys doing good? You've been in Berlin yeah. for two days or one day? Yes. T today's the second day. You guys been enjoying it? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. We, we had a good time last night. We, um, we went out to, uh, to a club in Berlin and played some new songs and hung out with some fans and made some friends and... We've just been, you know, having fun. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. And you guys are leaving today or tomorrow? Yeah, today. Yep. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta. We gotta go home. Like. Oh. It's like <laughs> yeah. one of those things that has to happen every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we're gonna talk about the new album. Yes. Uh, the first time that um, it was coming out, you guys only told the fans about a few songs. You weren't really sure on the name, and finally you guys decided on the connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did you guys decide on it? Was there a meaning behind it? Or did you guys sit down and talk about it? Or We uh, we actually came up with the name before we started writing. Like okay. we, we, we talked about it on tour like for the last record. Um, and in the process of writing the record, we had a few working titles, but they weren't, they didn't really stack up. You know, they, they didn't really correlate to the subject matter on the, the record so you know we kind of thought about it and just said you know the connection really seems to fit you know and it, it's it's basically about Jacoby's connection with his relationships and then also you know our connection to each other and our connection with our fans and oh, that's sweet yeah <laughs> and you guys also said that you want this album to be your album of the career um, yep. Does that mean? I think we say that every record, though. <laughs> really? No, yeah. but I mean, but this one definitely, I think, really defines it. I mean, I, I back it on this one because we really set out to do something great. Like, I mean, we we always set out, but we we just felt it. Like, this is the first time that we got to really take time to to just kind of experiment and 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 make the record that we really wanted to make and do it on our own terms and do it in our own studio. And and it was completely different than any other record that we had ever made, and it just it's like we after so long we've made you know six five records previous so it's like now we it's like we know what works you know we know what we want and we just kind of set out to do it and then when we incorporated some some new styles and some new elements to the sound you know it just it kind of made it fresh and new as well and so you guys definitely feel like it's reached the level where you've said this is our best album so far yes definitely yes. And I think we say that every record, too. <laughs> I know you can't really see into the future, but saying the album of your career sound, sort of sounds like it's going to be the last album. Is that maybe? Or have uh, you not really thought it over yet? Every record could be the last record. That's the way <laughs> I look at it. I mean, but I, I think, no, nah, I mean, it's it's definitely, I think this door, uh, this record definitely opens up like a, a, a door More doors. <laughs> yeah, to, to, to another sound or another dimension that we can elaborate on for another record. Or we just might totally flip the script like we always do and maybe we go back to some crazy like stripped down raw yeah. thing you know because this one has kind of a it has a, like a electronic kind of tinge to it and uh very very melodic you know and uh just it's so weird because we don't really everyone always says that we have like these anthemic choruses and these sing-alongs and stuff like that we don't really like try to do it we yeah. just kind of naturally just it comes do from it. the heart it does it comes from the comes from the gut comes from the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it it doesn't matter where it starts it always ends right yeah. here <laughs> okay and it doesn't matter male or female <laughs> it's a good so enough it message always, yeah. so i'm sure when the album comes out you guys are going to be touring a lot more um do you guys feel like you miss out on a lot of like from your family or friends at home i mean i've heard that you guys sometimes bring family on tour if if that's yeah. right yeah if if you know if the tour is really long or whatever how do they feel about that coming on tour like hey do you just want to come I with think, us or? I, think it, I think it sucks I mean I think it's great I love having the family around but it's tough it's it's rough you know yeah. 
and the sacrifices that we make doing what we do and not being with the families and not being, you know, with with the kids and whatever. I mean, you, you kind of just, you have to just find ways to, um, you know, really just be grateful and take advantage of it when you do have it and thank God for technology because there's like Skype and, yeah. you know. Do you feel sometimes like it's harder when they come on tour just because it can you're be, sort of used it to can being be, them around it can and then be they kind go? Of stressful. Yeah. yeah, because also that, yeah. you know they're thrown into our lifestyle, yeah. which is just and you're busy. Go, yeah. go, go! Yeah, and you're like living out of a suitcase. You're in this con- one confined little area called a tour bus, and pff, it's it's rough, you know. Yeah, it's hard mixing the two worlds together, um, but you you know you, if if it's important enough, you just find a way. Yeah. Do you feel like over the years it's gotten better? Like you've gotten better at um, yeah. getting used to it? And yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. We, like as you know, as we get older, of course, we t- we we're still working on how to balance. You know, the yeah. whole like being in a band and the the whole lifestyle of a of a touring you know rock band and and then being like the 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 dad and you know and the family guy. It's it's a, it's really strange. You know, because when you get home, you you know, you're kind of like just, you have like this freedom and you're kind of, you're just thinking about the show and you just want to be wild and you just want to jump out of your skin the whole time. And then when you get home, you can't, you can't be, be like, yeah, you kind of, well, you know, you just, you, you just have to think of, you know, that there's not people there like looking forward to watch you at the end of the day, you know, no, they're not catering to you, it's like you're catering to them, so... And yeah. after all the years of touring, what do you think has been the craziest thing that you guys have either done or has happened to you? Like, if you can think of one moment that just kind of sort of pops in your head. I can think of one moment. <laughs> uh, we played Polish Woodstock two years ago, and it was 375,000 people. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was crazy. Like, it, you should go on YouTube and look at it, because it, it, I could sit here and try to describe it, but... A sea of people. Yeah. It was insane. Just get like, on stage, and it's just like... Yeah. Well, when you're in front of that many people and you look out, you're just like, this is incredible, you know. And then to hear, um, there, it's like a roar, like the crowd, like when they cheer, you know, after a song, that it just sounds like thunder, you know. It's just massive. Yeah. So it's really, it's a really good feeling, you know. Wow. And have you guys ever? Uh, what is your best concert? And have you played with anybody that you've seen before then as well? Um, our best concerts. Well, what? The best concert you've been to? Oh, best concert yeah. I've been to. Oh man! That's and then maybe you played with the band later. Uh, you know, my favorite while. concerts have always been. Well, just recently we saw uh, the Refused do a. Uh, they did a tour. They got back together and did this tour. That was really cool. Um, I love going to see Nine Inch Nails. Australia. And I love see, watching. We did a tour with the Red Hot Chili Peppers, in in Australia back in 2002, and that was like a really great experience just coming from like a fan perspective because when i was a little kid i like i grew up you know like really into that band and so like to sit on the side of the stage every day and 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 watch them play and and uh they were just killing it every night i think i got a little teary-eyed one night oh (laughs) yeah and you too or yeah i mean the the chili peppers was i mean because you know we, we played at sydney stadium the football stadium two nights and you know i'm sitting there on the side of the stage, and it's like, you know, Flea, and Chad Smith, and John Frusciante, and just right there, just jamming, you know, yeah. jamming you random stuff. Too, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you enjoyed that, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't really like. It's funny because when you do what we do, you're like you're around, you're you're put in positions where you get to like see people that you like admire and you grew up, you know, and yeah. like your idols and shit like that, and it's like you kind of like don't want to i don't like i don't want to meet them i don't want to be friends with them i don't want to ruin my perception you yeah, know that i had you know growing up as a kid and stuff like that so i'm always like probably better <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of other bands do you guys know steel panther yes yes have you uh heard the song yes. uh, Death? Yeah? yeah yeah how do you feel about it <laughs> i mean i guess I guess um or how do you deal with stuff like that? Thanks do you for guys the mention. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean the song is death to all, all but metal. All but metal. And we're not metal, so that's fine, I guess. Cool. Thanks for not putting us in fucking one category that we don't care to just be in that, you know, like we have elements of metal in our music, but we're not a fucking metal band, <laughs> you know? So cool. 
do you guys? The only time we were considered a metal band was when we were on Warped Tour. Really? Yeah. Yeah. When we were all, with all the little punk rock bands. Yeah. That's cool. We don't really fit in um, all the time, and I think we like it that way. Yeah. Do you guys try to, try to ignore it, or, I mean, does it offend you a little bit, or do you just think, you know, who cares yeah, what I they mean, say? They're, sort they're, of? They're, a funny, they're a funny joke band. You know, uh, the the guys actually. The video is pretty bad. The, so. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen the video. They touch their crotch the whole time, so you're not. Missing oh out yeah, anything. yeah. They, they don't <laughs> take themselves very seriously. It's all like a kind of a it's a gimmick thing. And the couple of guys they live down the street from me, you know, back where back home in L.A. And I, I mean, we we used to watch them all the time. We used to go down to uh, the Viper Room on Sunset and watch them back in the day when they were just. They weren't even called Steel Panther. They were, metal the, uh, yeah, Metal Shop, and metal it was shop? it was like just the most you know just fun thing to to see on a monday night you know in yeah. la and now they're like touring all over the world it's pretty cool i'm i'm excited for them i it doesn't bother me at all you know yeah. like when you get made fun of and people bring up your name that actually means that you mean something That's so true. it's a good attitude well now that was our final question and the last words always go to the band so you guys can say something to the fans or to the family maybe um or something random. I gotta say that I'm really excited about the record. Um, I think I really do think it's the best work we've done, and uh, I just can't wait. Yes, and I, I just want to say that you know I really like really neato things like this. Like <laughs> it's a very beautiful plant, and I, I would never think to do this, and I think it's really cool. It really adds a color and a texture to the whole surrounding, and and. Um, I think maybe we should have more every time we do interviews, just have like little things like this around We'll remember us. that next time. We'll just put flowers cool. on the table for you guys. Sounds good. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.